Okay, I came up with this question for you guys. Go ahead and pause the video and try to figure out how to simplify this and get one of these. And of course, please do not choose option D. Done? Okay, cool. Alright, I really like this question not only because I came up with this myself, but also notice that we have the x squared plus 2 being the same here and here. I'm pretty sure a lot of students will just cancel this and cancel that and they will just say the answer is 11x minus 3 over 11 times x minus 3 they will just put b for the answer but that's not correct because we must simplify the top factor it completely and then do the cancellation right worse yet we have the 11x minus 3 right and also the 11 x and also the minus 3 they may just even cancel them and say c no, don't do that. And with that being said, the answer is A for sure. But of course, now let's go ahead and see why this is the case. Alright, so the top, take a negative 3, multiply this in. Right? So I'm going to write that down. We have negative 3x squared, and then this is 11x, and then we have that negative 3 times 2, which is negative 6. Alright, and over the bottom, which is nicely factored for us already, so we have this, and the top right now is just a quadratic, we can factor it. So let's go ahead and write that down. If you want to factor out negative first, go ahead and do so. But there's no negative at the very front, so I'll just keep it as how it is. And we'll do the tic-tac-toe factoring right here. So let's go ahead. Hmm. What time slot give us three, uh, negative 3x squared? We need negative 3x and x. Yeah, it works. Because right here, to get negative 6, I'm going to use negative 3 and positive 2. Right here, here. Because this time, this will give us positive 9x. This time, that will give us positive 2x. Together, we do get a positive 11x. Right? So, the tic tac toe method for factoring or the cross method for factoring. Alright, so the top right here factors to be this and that. So, that's negative 3x plus 2, and then this and that is x minus 3. And the bottom stays the same, 11 times x minus 3 times x squared plus 2. And we know this and that cancel. So finally, the answer is indeed negative 3x plus 2 over 11 times x squared plus 2. All right. So I came up with this question based on the calculus questions for the definition of derivative. So this is the kind of algebraic simplification that you must know how to do in your calculus class. Algebra should be your second nature in your calculus classes in order for you to be successful in calculus. So I will come up with more questions like this for you guys to practice. And in the meantime, you guys can check out my other videos over there. See you guys there.